Ladies and gentlemen, very excited right now. Mr. Lucas Graybeal, how are you? Very well, how are you? Good, thank you. You're a constantly busy man, Lucas. Uh, I try to be. Yeah. I mean, you gotta be this day and age. Yeah, especially in Hollywood. <laughs> um, what's TV like at the moment? What are you doing? Uh, so, uh, Switch to Birth, we just finished shooting our uh, second half of our fourth season, 4B. Yeah. And uh, it's a really exciting um, season. Of course, there's always a lot of drama and, yeah. you know, Teen craziness. Yeah. Uh, but I'm not a teen anymore. I, I actually turned 21 on the show, which right. I'm really excited about because I'm 30 in real life. And, and I was uh, going to say, you're always playing the younger roles, which I yeah. guess in Hollywood is a good thing. I, I think so. I mean, I've graduated high school many times. Yeah. No, 100%. Yeah. <laughs> which I, you know, I'm finally happy that I'm like, okay, I finally, I've, I've reached college age, which is great. Um, of course, we've got to talk about High School Musical for a second. You had a mini no, reunion. I don't talk about High School Yeah, no. Yeah, no. What is that anyway? <laughs> um, but you had a mini reunion the other day. Yeah. Yeah, we went and see, uh, we went to see uh, The Descendants, um, the new Disney Channel um, movie, musical. And uh, yeah, it was great, with the exception of Zach and Vanessa because they were um, unable to come. Everybody else came out and it was really great to see everybody again. I mean, I, I we all keep in touch pretty uh, pretty well. Um, I see Corbin all the time and occasionally I'll see uh, Monique and Ashley. Um, but yeah, it was really great to get everybody back together again. Do you remember the moment where you realized I am part of a phenomenon? You know what, there was probably many moments because the first you, I didn't believe it, you know, like it was one of those things where I, I remember um, a friend of mine from my hometown called me and said, you're number one on iTunes, and I was like, that's got to be a mistake, I mean, maybe maybe in your town or something, yeah. like, what? no, no, and, and we, we started breaking records right and left, you know, Billboard, and, you know, when we were the number one in selling album in the world, it was like, okay, yeah, this is something. I, I guess this is something. Ten years ago next year. Yeah. Um, if you look back on that, what would you, what would this Lucas say to that Lucas? Um, get ready. It's gonna get crazy, and enjoy the ride. Yeah. Because yeah. that's really all you can do to prepare yourself for something like that. You, there's nothing that you can say that will actually prepare you for it. You just have to know that it's going to be nuts. I have no regrets, but yep. I would tell myself, like, just enjoy it. Yeah, like, don't don't worry about if you deserve it or not, or, or what this world is like. Just just go with when it. When someone hands you an opportunity like that, you take it. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, exactly. it's silly not to. Um, this is the part that I'm very excited about. Okay. Now, you see, I, just like everyone else my age, grew up watching you. Ryan always being my favorite character, and I had a phase of sending fan mail, and I sent you a fan mail, and I have it here right now. And I'd like to read it to you if that's okay. Of course. This is a fan mail letter that I wrote in 2009. I had just turned 13 years old, and it's extremely embarrassing. And when I heard that I was interviewing you, I thought, I've got to find this, and I finally <laughs> did. All right, are you ready? Sorry that it's extremely embarrassing, and sorry that a 13-year-old is talking like he's 50. Here we go. 16th of January, 2009. Dear Mr. Lucas Graybeard, my name is Liam McEwan. I'm 13 years old and live in New Zealand. I've been a fan of yours ever since the first High School Musical. I think you're a very talented person and your work in the High School Musical trilogy has been amazing. High School Musical senior year is my favorite and I enjoy your songs, I Want It All and Just Wanna Be With You. I really enjoy your dancing, singing and acting abilities. I then go on to ask for an autograph. And I say, I hope to hear from you soon and I deeply appreciate your generosity in returning this photo autographed by you. Sincerely yours, and with thanks in advance, Liam McEwen. So there you go. There it is. So, so many years later, my, my, my fan mail letter to you. I thought I'd share that with you, because Dude, I thought it would so be a massive awesome, opportunity man. if I didn't read <laughs> my fan mail letter from back then. This is a first. I have never, um, I've never met someone and they showed me a copy of their actual well, I thought it was family. important. I thought it was important that you got that. Dude, thank you. Yeah, that's awesome. you are more than welcome. And I didn't send it to anyone else. Just you were my first <laughs> ever fan mail. Oh, the wow. only person, The only person I sent another fan mail to was Kenny Ortega. And he didn't reply. Like, all up with that. that. Jerk. Like, seriously, you were the only person who replied to me. <laughs> but Lucas, thank you so much for your time. Where can people find you if they want more on you? Uh, well, on Instagram and Twitter and all of that, I'm at Mr. Graybeal. That's Mr. Grab. 
Good way of doing it. Yeah. Or we can just say it's at the bottom of the screen. You can look right here. Yeah. Yeah, 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 pretty much. Sweet, that was so much fun. Yeah, that was I great. I enjoyed that.